have been here since early this morning escorting people in and out of the restaurant let's have a talk with the leader excuse me sir what is your position no one is going to tell us what we can eat no one's going to limit our choices today they tell us what to eat tomorrow they'll be telling us what to wear for the other side of the story let's talk to the leader of operation restaurant well pure and simple we think that, that that's murder going on in there those people are walking in there poisoning their bodies with these foreign substances and food. I mean, cholesterol stops beating hard. It's, it's not a matter of choice. It's a matter of life and death. These people going in poisoning themselves. We've got our sidewalk dietitians trying to dissuade these people from making this horrible, horrible choice, eating these satanic foods, filling themselves up with evil. Uh, How can you uh, tell this disgusting thing in your body? We have the devil himself! It's poison! We do it! Don't 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 do it! As the day wore on, the protest grew more heated. Operation Restaurant pelted the protesters with wieners. The people have spoken. The restaurant is open. Tighten the line. Here they come. People have spoken. The restaurant is open. The people have spoken. The restaurant is open. The people have spoken. The restaurant is open. Through further investigative research, we found that there were numerous factions throughout the city. Yes, I'm pro-pro. I'm simply for people who are for things. I'm pro-anti, which does not mean I'm not necessarily anti. I just support those people that are anti and their right to get out there and express what they have to express. I would describe my position basically as being anti-anti, that is, I am against those protesters who are always against people. So, does that mean that you're pro-pro? Um, no, no, not at all, not at all. There's a distinction there. The pro-pro people are in favor of things and people who are in favor of things. And we're not necessarily in favor of those things, we're just against the people who are against those things. What's with all these people that are pro this and pro that? What kind of country is this? So what are you? I'm anti-pro. I'm against all those people that are for things. And there you have it, Tess Callahan, ATV News. <laughs> Welcome back to America's Funniest Videotape Beatings, and we're finally down to our last three contestants. From Tuscaloosa, Oklahoma, it's Officer O'Malley! <laughs> This'll teach you, you young hooligan. This one's for Grandma Nina! <laughs> I did already! Oh, please, brutality! I did already! Oh! Oh! I did! Oh! Oh! And our number two spot, it's Thelma and Joe in Beat Me Baby! You little worm, why I ought to slap you! Ooh, baby! And our final contestant, it's Jimmy Crud in Breaking and Entering! The 
walkie-talkie is a device used to communicate over distance through the use of radio waves. Eric likes to use his walkie-talkie to speak with his friend. He removes it from its protective box, grasping it firmly with his left hand. He diligently checks the battery for charge. Yes, it is good. Eric checks the unit for any cracks or damages. Finding none, he sets the channel indicator to channel 14, the channel of general communications. Noticing that there are no obstructions to hinder his operation, he carefully extends the antenna to its full length for clearest reception. Eric then carefully rotates the volume control in order to adjust to a comfortable listening level. Now he is ready to communicate. By firmly pressing down the transmit button, Eric speaks in a firm, even voice. Hello, hello, this is Eric. Yes, his friend hears him. By following these instructions, you too can have hours of trouble-free walkie-talkie communication. for Sonny Bono. Fifteen. Nine. Welcome, Brother Wednesday. Come in quickly. Were you followed? No. Come in. The Saboteurs. Ah. Now that Brother Wednesday is with us, we can consider the plan. Comrades, now we are here. As you know, tomorrow we're going to undertake the most dangerous and daring mission that our cell has ever attempted. We'll be attacking the command and control complex itself. So we must all be ready. We must all be timed to split second time and we'll go over the plans now. Now as you know, we'll be attacking the central complex from the eastern side of the building when all the guards have been lured over to the western side. The operation will begin at 0300 hours. Now, 0301. Brother Wednesday, what do you do? First, I go to point A, and then I sneak up on the guard, and then I render him helpless with my gun, and I shoot him, and then I shoot him again, and I put him into the woods and leave him there. And then I go over to point B ever so slightly, and I pause, and I radio for you, and I say, end of phase one, continue. Good. And now, Brother Saturday, what is your part? After verifying that the guard has passed his position, I can continue to the fourth wall, place the pipe bomb, and let him have it! Good. Brother Holiday, what is your part of the plan? First, I'll break into the arsenal and steal all that I can carry. And then, I'll sneak up to the security guard and slit his throat! Good. And when we have accomplished all this, I will take the detonator, and I will detonate the explosive charge! <laughs> comrades, comrades, now, the, the only detail we have left to decide is, uh, and what will be the uniform of the day? Well, I suggest we wear the green fatigues. Oh, but we can't! We're still the cleaners! I thought I told you to pick them up! Uh, what about the black? Black? I'm so sick of black. It's so drab. Yes, I was hoping for some more color in our wardrobe. Color? What color? Well, I've been working with some new colors. Look at these reds and greens. I just jump out at you. Comrade, your attention to duty is commendable. I think it is important that we should look at color. For example, the place that we are going to break into, it is all done in dim, subdued tones with dim, subdued lighting. Maybe we should come up with something that will blend in like camouflage. Camouflage, hell! Ah, uh, when I go out, I want to stand out! Stand out in a crowd! 
So I've been working with something new, something bold and savage. Look, this new hat. It's great, it's wonderful, it stands out, I love it! I have been working on something more feminine. <laughs> no! No, comrade, take my advice, it doesn't go with your bone structure. Besides, there are the, the factions to worry about. Just imagine if you were killed and found on, seen on television in something like that. What would the other revolutionary groups think? I've been working with something new, though, comrades. Look at this! Done in a straight military style. Sharp, to the point, masculine to command respect from the other groups. Look at the piping, the detailing, the buttons. Look at those cuffs, aren't they sharp? I... I don't know, will it go with the cravat? Yes, it will go with almost anything. Look mm. at the beautiful multi-purpose styling of this garment. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. The sleeves are too long. Well, Brother Wednesday, we'll get you the short sleeve version. How about that? Okay. Well, what do you think? I like it. I do. Oh, I oh. found that I like it. Yeah. I want to wear it. Oh, Give me one wear now. It. I will yes. wear it. Yes, yes, yes brother. Wear it. We, we can wear it together. I think we yes. are. Right? Yes. yes. Right. Woo! 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 <sighs> well, I tell you what, comrades. We'll get Plotkin and the tailor to start right away. We'll reschedule the attack for one week from next Tuesday so we have time to be fitted. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh, this is like it. Bob! Bob? Protesters now. So tell me, how do you feel about the turnout? It's great. I've never seen so many people here. This is excellent. 
Oh, that sounds really good. It sounds like you're very uh, fired up and enthusiastic about it. Can you tell me more about the protest? Yeah, well, we're here to tell people what we think, and uh, mm -hmm. we, we really want what yeah. we're protesting for, and we, we won't, won't be satisfied until we get it. This is something that we all long for with a, a hunger, just a powerful hunger, and uh, we're just uh, waiting until we can all have it. Okay, well, there you have heard it right there from the protesters' mouths. Yeah. What do we want? Cheese! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Cheese! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Cheese! When do we want it? Now! If you must drink and drive, don't smoke. A friendly message from the American tobacco industry. Hark, hark. Here I am about on my evening stroll. I'm looking all around and... <gasps> what is this I see at my feet? Why, it is the famed golden carafe. Why? Ah, Diabetes! And why are you walking on my estate so late in the evening? Hark! It is Diaretus! Why, I merely sought to walk among your verdant fields, Diaretus. But what is this? Forsooth, this is the golden carafe that I have found. By Zeus, you have found that on my land. By golden Aphrodite, thou wouldst never have found this carafe. So it is mine. Oh, tis Testicles. Perhaps he can help us with our dispute. Yo, Diabetes, Diaretus, hey, what's up? I have found this most marvelous carafe. But it is on my land. Yo, dudes, chill out. This is a, this is a question for King Melanoma. Let us take it to the Grand Forum. Oh, but before we go, I must run. Yeah. Mm. Oh, great king, please settle for us this dispute. Meow? Yeah. I would suppose you have a good reason to come by the court of King Melanoma, Diabetes and Diuretus. <laughs> Didn't I see you running by the baths the other day? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. Have you met my daughters, Bulimia and Anorexia? Bulimia, offer some sweets to Diuretus. Oh no, that stuff goes right through me. <laughs> well then, uh, offer some sweets to Diabetes. Uh, no, thank you, Your Majesty. I don't care for sweets. Perhaps anorexia would like some. <laughs> Father, you know that I don't eat. <laughs> Wh will no one eat my food? But Father, I will eat it all. of this dispute. Well, good King Melanoma, I found this golden carafe while walking at night. But it was on my land. I can settle this dispute right away. This is my carafe. Why is that? I am the king! Germs are a tiny form of life less than an inch long. These tiny mindless machines are always looking for new places to infest. Once you have contacted a germ, they will multiply until they cause serious discomfort or social embarrassment. Germs can be found at walls, furniture, ceilings, and carpeting. Here Mrs. B is attempting to remove germs by vacuuming. But if we could examine this supposedly clean carpet under a 10,000 power microscope, we have 5 millions of teeming germs! 
porcelain surfaces that come in contact with the human body are known hiding places for germs. Here, Mrs. R scrubs her house with a powerful solution of sodium oxalate USP. Special care must be taken because germs can be hiding anywhere. <laughs> The wise germ fighter will scrub diligently to remove all known germ invaders. This couple is settling down to a romantic evening, but did you know that the human scalp is infested with 10,000 germs per square inch? Now this man does! <laughs> Everybody likes a nice, healthy carrot, but this carrot has millions of disgusting germs! Throw it away! Oh, what a waste! Next time, wash your carrot thoroughly. A clean carrot is a good carrot. You don't like germs, so why would you mail them to a friend? The human tongue is coated with over a million germs per square millimeter. Just one of these germs can cause conditions like stridosis or boobas. Don't touch that stamp. Thousands of people fall sick every year from touching contaminated stamps. Remember, germs can kill or maim. By following these steps, you can have a healthier tomorrow. Hello. In order to receive the best television reception, it is essential that this station is properly centered between the stations, both above it and below it. Some of you have been receiving some interference on your sets, so now we will go through the procedure of recentering this channel in the radio frequency spectrum. First, I will adjust this channel up towards the one immediately above it. Now that's a little bit too far, so I'll adjust it back the other way now. And now I'm adjusting it toward a lower channel. And now I've gone a little too far that way, as you can see. Now I'll gradually bring the channel right into the center, perfectly centered between the channels both above and below it. And now at this point, you should start to see that interference disappear. And you should see that the reception clarity has increased significantly. We thank you for your cooperation. Shortly. I'm glad we finally had this time to talk. Yeah, me too. Our schedules have just been so hectic. Yeah. 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 It's good to get away. Nice. You sure look beautiful today. Yes, my, you're handsome. It's wonderful to be alone with you tonight. I'm soaking wet with desire for you. Mmm, mmm. I feel good. For only $29.95, the Vox Humana 2000. 
Always something good to say. Every year we tried out new starry-eyed actors and every year we came across the same boring town. Welcome to the drama school. So glad everybody could make it. Now each tryout will last approximately 30 seconds. There are no exceptions. Please state your name when you come up and good luck to everybody. Tristan Tate. His harbinger is the fairy pimple. What was once an exciting diversion had become a tediously infuriating sentence to the theater of mediocrity. She's not, uh, no, Joe, what the hell are you trying to say? What? What? She's, uh, she's in it, what? She's not projecting enough. Right, right, right. We, the keepers of the secret. Next person, please. Hi, I'm Joseph. Um... I'm going to be doing a very difficult acting thing that I've been working on for over a year. Ah! Oh, no! 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 Oh! Ah! Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 what? no, no. <laughs> what the hell was that? Did you see that? <laughs> Scratch that baby off. Jesus. Hi, I'm Kim. For the most wild yet most homely narrative which I am about to pen, I neither expect nor solicit belief. Mad indeed would I be to expect it. In a case where my very senses reject their own evidence, Yet, mad, I am not, and very surely, I do not grieve. But tomorrow, I die. Yes. I didn't know then that this year would be different. Robert W. Featherstone. Jesus Christ! Who is that guy? Whoa! Whoa. Fantastic! Fantastic! That's perfect! Perfect! Get the stage manager! Go! 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 Whoa! Oh, this is the guy. You like him? Perfect! Oh, perfect! 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 I just can't believe it. I need to do it. How did you find out where he is? Let me go check. Let me go grab him before he leaves, okay? You just give him what he wants. You just give him what he wants. I'll bring it right back. Just stay put. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yes. Yes. We got it. We got it. We have got it. Good, good, good. I <laughs> oh, wasn't that easy. <laughs> I'm so I got him, sir. I got him. Kid, kid, let me shake your hand, kid. Kid, you were incredible. Kid, you are perfect for what we need. Isn't he perfect, huh? He's huh? Perfect, huh? Yeah. huh? Kid, you're fantastic. Kid, I love you. I Excellent. love you. You're just perfect, kid. Per kid, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how the hell you do it, but God, do you do it or what? I don't know. Jesus Christ, kid, you've got to stay. What? You've got to sign, sign that sucker. Sign I that contract, that. yes. I love to hear the sound of signing, yes. Signing on good kids, kids that are good. Kid, you're good. I mean, <laughs> didn't I say he was good? Didn't I just so, say he was yeah, good? good? When did I say Fantastic. it? I just said it, right, right now, right? <laughs> kid, you're incredible. Incredible, capital I, incredible. Write that down. Incred kid is good, this kid is a genius. This kid is a, 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 a stroke of genius, kid. So did I get the part? <laughs> kid, you're killing me! <laughs> you got the part. Did you hear that? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Gee. Just sign below the deadline, kid. Kid, sure. you got the part. Let me tell you. You make me so happy, kid. You make me so, so happy, kid. <laughs> <laughs> kid, that's perfect. That is just perfect, kid. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't know. I, do, I, I see kids come and go, and I just don't know how the hell they do it. Jeez, kid, you're on fire. You're on fire, kid. You're good. You're good. And I love good kids, I'll tell you. Jesus Christ, you are good, 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 good. Did I say good? Huh? Superb. Good. This kid is incredible. Awesome. My 
dear cousin, I am fearful for the kingdom. Tis right to be afraid the kingdom is in jeopardy as Hamlet toils on the castle roof, looking at the moon, dreaming of his mother's passion, and seeing his father dead and gone away. It's soft. It is Hamlet. decided to go back to his roots. No, 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 no. Boring. Reminds me of that, that kid. What's his name? Wow. Aquatane. for good health. An unclean cravitus can lead to many problems later on. You probably remember your mother washing your cravitus when you were very small. You may have enjoyed this, but soon it was time to wash your own cravitus as you grew more mature. This boy is preparing for a date. He has brushed his teeth washed behind his ears. Now he washes his cravitus and his inner and outer bibula as well. This girl seems to be well groomed, but in her haste to get ready for that big date, she has neglected to wash her cravitus. Let's see what happens. The party is over. All has gone well so far. Now comes the big moment for that first kiss that all young Juliets dream about. But wait! Don't let this happen to you! You can bet that next time, this woman will scrub her cravidus until it shines! 
Surely bad luck, Colonel. Being stuck here in a basement with a Nazi bomb about to explode in only 10 seconds. Could you just pipe down, son? You British are just a little too tense, not just relax. I have it all handled. Yes, Colonel. Hand me a saw. Here, Colonel. My God, Colonel, we've only got eight seconds left to save the lives of these lovely members of the French Resistance so they can go back behind enemy lines and succeed for the Allies. bringing you an update on the controversy surrounding the Crew Cuts clan. Recently, their leader, David Dude, spoke at a location in the city. Friends, we all know what's wrong with this country. It's those despicable, disgusting, insipid, long-haired people that have inhibited us for so many years. And here are some people whose lives have been affected by the Crew Cuts clan. Like, we're really scared that they put a crew cut head on our lawn. We're so afraid we can't leave our place anymore. It's terrible. It's frightening. We must take the scissors of truth. We must cut the long hair off of our civilization. We must show these long hair people what is right. Long hair. Down with long hair. Down with long hair. So since those CCC people have been around, my business has just dropped off immensely. I mean, everybody is going to a barber. <sighs> the Crew Cut Clan has a long CCC. and wonderful history. We are descended from the Berbers. Well, the Barbers as they are now known today. Our Emperor, Emperor Barbarossa, led the pirates to the Barbary Coast. We conquered the Barbary Coast. For hundreds of years, we have lost our true and beautiful yeah. history until the oh. movie Barbarella left yes. us leave yes. and understands our beautiful and wonderful yes. past. Yes. Yes. Each voice sang the song Barbaran yes. and led us to understand oh. our beautiful and wonderful history and go on to live our infinite destiny as the Barbers as we are now known today. Oh. Yes. Barbara. 
We'll keep you informed of all further developments in the controversy of the Crew Cuts clan. No, it's not the link. Yeah, the, 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 the flyer that you got the first Thursday. Yeah, the first one that was really well did. Yeah. 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 She traded him in the new Yeah, really. She just like that. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Will you go out with me? <laughs> so, what's the deal, guys? Are you like a couple or something? Like, are you in love or something like that? <laughs> yeah, I bet you. You know, you both look so east side hipster type of thing. You know, I go to the east side sometimes. I go with my girlfriends. You know, we go into it. We go into the coffee drainer and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, are you a... Uh, Together, or uh, what's the deal? Or uh, what do you do? <laughs> What's going on here, everybody? Naked, I see. Huh? A little foreplay. Ah! <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> Hi. That's a really nice sweater. I thought I'd come over and compliment you on it. Um, didn't I see you last week at the crevice? Do you remember? I think I might have seen you there.
me, Reggie Human Torch of Lancaster, PA, who set his tongue cast into a building block as a child over 30 years ago. Here, his friend asks him about his life. So, Reggie, how does it feel to be an amazing person? I got my family, and what I found is fault, it really fault, and I know that it was fault, okay? Are you kidding? You're so killing me. I'm trying to get the fuck off my tongue. You can't even begin to understand that this is a It's a painful. Let's leave. Reggie, as he takes a nap after his trying day, even amazing people need their rest. Now for another amazing person. Oh, hello. Is this full corn to be with you in a moment? Oh, I haven't seen you here before. Who are you? I'm the Falcon's new doormat! Valerie Fig of Clean Circle Washington rents Hi. out her time as a human Come doormat on. to the highest bidder. Summer or winter, she's always on the job. Oh, we've had Valerie for over half a year now, and we just love her. Hello! Good work, Valerie! And here's Dr. Zandor Crab. He spent thousands of hours developing a tiny microscopic circus. Yes, hello. Today we're going to look at my microbe circus. I have thousands of tiny microbes in this little climate-controlled container and they're all so happy in there. Now let me let them out. Here we go. Oh, come out, boys. Come out. There's Jeffrey and Susie and there's little Kent, but he's very slow. Oh, they're coming out now. You see, they're running over to the little cage. They're running up to the top of the cage and they're going to ring a bell. They did it! Thank you very much for watching me and my microbe circus. Hello and welcome to Psycho Break. This is Helmut Mutschmidt, and we have with us Graham Chapman. Yes. And uh, weren't you on a TV show or something at one time? That's correct, yes, some time ago now. And what was that? Hmm? And what was that? It was called uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus. No, that wasn't it. Was no? No. All right, well, listen, I, I, I figured we'd need to do an interview of some sort, but I want to get at your subconscious. Yes. And uh, I figured the way we can do this is to use the world-famous Rorschach ink blood test. Ah, right, okay. yes. And if, then you can give me the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I'll do is show you the cards, and I'd like you just to respond to them. Think okay. you can do that? I shall try. Yes. All right, all right. <clears throat> and just tell me, when you see the card, what you see. Right. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that looks like a cockroach uh, in someone's pelvis. Oh, yeah? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Next one? Ah, uh, yes, that's a little earlier uh, when the cockroach hasn't quite gotten into the pelvis, I think. Okay. No, no, that is... That's two, uh, uh, I guess they're called Maasai ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and they're doing something in a bowl. I don't know what it is, uh, it's, it, although bits of it keep flying out. It flies out. They're, they're, they're beating the hell out of something, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Is it blood? Mm. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah? There's large quantities of blood flying out. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm. Are you finished? Yes. Oh, OK, OK. And next one? Mm. That is a very large man with a prolapsed rectum. OK, we'll put that away. Mm. And this one? That looks like a butterfly. It is a butterfly. Oh, yes. That is a butterfly some moments later after it's been squashed. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I don't know, this one looks like a penis. Does it? Well, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and here? That looks like... Oh, is that the right way up? Yeah, oh. I suppose it is. No, it's this oh. one. Ah, oh, yes. I'm sorry. That is... Well, it's just a chair. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is actually, though, a, a little cockroach there you can see. Top, uh, little one. Yeah, just crawling on the top of the chair. Mm -hmm. And is there a cockroach over here too? No, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, that's. No, I'm not sure about that. It's two rats biting the end of some. The, I don't know what you'd call them. The wings, I suppose, of of someone's pelvis. Pelvis. Yes. No penis. No, just a pelvis. Oh, OK. okay. I'm not sure whether it's a male or a female. That is 
someone, uh, it's, it's a skeleton of a person who, uh, but you can only see a small portion of it where the uh, pelvis has just sat in, in a sort of blue, blue green, greenish pink blancmange. Yes, yes. And the last one? That is a sort of Christmas time uh, jollification. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a decorated pelvis for Christmas. Sure, yes, I see that too, sure. Well, that's about the end of this, and uh, I, I thank you very much for, thank you. for coming along, and uh, we'll see you later. Why do you have so many pelvises? Actually, I didn't mean to bring up my pelvis pictures. So oh. much. <laughs> the Semprini Signal and the Semprini Shake. Are common to all Clevian peoples and should be learned. The Semprini signal. Raise the arm, extend the forefinger, extend the thumb. Again. 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 The Semprini shake. Clasp bottom three fingers. Finger touches thumb. Thumb touches finger. Push back, forth, back, forth, back and forth. Yes, you're doing it well. Let's see it again. Clasp bottom three fingers. Finger touches thumb. Thumb touches finger. Back, forth, back, forth. Now let's see it in action. This man is walking down the street and sees his fellow Clevians. He signals them and calls to them. They respond in kind. A greeting is exchanged. Let's see that in slow motion. By practicing these signals, you too will have many friends. The time, 30,000 years ago, the Earth hangs like a small white marble against the infinitude of space. Most of the surface is covered by mile-thick ice sheets inhabited only by wolves and half-human yetis. It is against this harsh backdrop that the Clevian race springs into existence. Composed of people of all colors, shapes, and sizes, this peaceful empire covers all known land and areas. A golden age ensues. Crops are taught to grow under the direction of human masters. Huge stones are levitated with the power of the mind. The languages of animals are known and spoken. Eventually, the ice sheets recede. New civilizations arise based not on Clevian moral values, but on tyranny and greed. We, the Clevians, watch these newcomers for a time. Eventually, we send emissaries among them to heal the sick and share our arcane knowledge. Too late, we realize our mistake. Our message is misunderstood. The paramount kings of the ancient world band together against us, calling us demons and sorcerers. Soon, in Greece, in Carthage, and in Zimbabwe, groups of Clevians are surrounded and slaughtered by the bureaucratic princes of power. A great war breaks out, spanning five continents and a hundred years of time. At its peak, a group of Clevians sell out the temple and its leadership to the Romans in exchange for false promises of peace. These traitors were caught and thrown into the muck at the base of Mount Clevis, but by then, it was too late. With the temple pulled down and Clevis in ruins, King Exandrus Mahubi has no choice but to send his people into hiding. Here, we replicate this dramatic moment. Alas, Miro, here stands the husk of the once mighty Clevis.
once with mine own hand I fitted this stone into the walls of my stable. Now it is plucked down and sullied by the ignorance of the barbarians who laid it waste. O my king, I weep for the death of the king, your father, and for the death of our nation. Weep not for us, Miro, but for the world that will suffer without our help. I weep, my king, but what will become of us? After the great war, our number is few. Let the last words of my father be my law and command. Let all our people go into hiding. From this time forward until the world is once again safe for them, let them go forth and pass unnoticed in the myriad countries of the world. Let the name of Clevis remain unsaid until the prophecy is fulfilled and we witness the new dawn. In that day, Miro, there will rise a new Clevis, superior to what we have lost. But until that day, let silence be our watchword, and let the sunset hold our destiny. This is a political announcement. We are the Overlord Party. We will end crime. We will tattoo numbers on the hands of all the citizens. This way, we will keep track of all the citizens and the innocent will be protected. We, the overlords, will rule you well. We will keep the peace and all your desires will be gratified immediately. We know of a glorious future for mankind under the overlord masters once the Clevian menace has been eradicated from the earth. We, the overlords, will tell you what to think. We have carefully selected a range of thoughts suitable for most people. By thinking these thoughts, you will become more like your neighbor. Then you can love your neighbor. Then you can master your neighbor. If you serve the overlords well, we will share what we have with you. You will have more of the rewards you like. You will be better than your neighbor. Remember, vote against the Clevians with their false promises of freedom and love. Vote for the Overlord Party. Turn off your television now.